Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about assisted penny farthing mounts. I'm going to be showing you how to help somebody else onto one of these penny farthings and the safe way of doing that by keeping your hand on the frame and your hand on the handlebars. Unlike any of the other YouTube videos that we have, I'm going to have an assistant today and what we're going to do is we're going to get him in in a, in a minute and I'm going to sh tell him what he needs to be doing to be climbing up the back of the frame as I hold the penny farthing so he can get on safely while I maintain the balance of the penny farthing so we can then start riding and it's all nice and safe, sorry. But I need to introduce my assistant today. So this is Roger. Roger today now can't ride a penny farthing. We know this is a lie, but he can't ride a penny farthing today. So first, what I'll get Roger to do is stand with his feet either side of the rear wheel I'll make sure I've got a firm grip on the spine on the back of the penny farthing and one hand on the handlebars. Once I'm comfortable, Roger can put his first foot on the bottom step and this is him starting to climb up the back of the penny farthing. Then if he puts his hands on the handlebars, he can then climb up to the next set of steps. Yep. Then when he's comfortable up there, I can move my hand off the rear spine and he can get onto the saddle. And then I put my hand back on the spine and he can put his feet on the pedals. And now that is Roger on the penny farthing safely so he can start riding and I can coast along with him and we can get going. And then we can do all of that in reverse so you can get some practice in about getting on and off this penny farthing. But what we'll do for the next shot is we're gonna move a little bit further down the warehouse so we've got a bit more space and then we'll actually try some riding. Right, so we've got a bit more space now and we're going to do exactly the same mount again. So Roger's going to climb up the back of the penny farthing. He's got his feet both sides of the rear wheel. I'm going to have a good grip on the penny farthing and he's going to climb up and get sat on the seat. So if you want to do that, Roger, go for it. Up you go. I move my hand. Sit and then on the pedals. Right, now I can... Roger can actually start pedaling and I can keep hold of the back of the frame and we can start riding. So this is a good first learning process of if you've never rode one before and then we can slowly come to a stop and we can do it in the reverse. So if Roger puts his foot back now, try and look for that step, I can actually assist him and put his foot on the step, obviously taking my hand off the rear spine and then grab back hold of the rear spine when he's on the big and he can slowly climb down and then this is the more safe easiest way to instruct someone that's never rode a penny farthing before how to get on and off on because the person teaching me is completely in control of the penny farthing I've got hold of the spine and the handlebars so they get the feel of what they're supposed to be doing so we're going to do that one more time as you see Roger's already on the penny farthing and we're going to start riding but this time we're going to make the person learning put their hands on the end of the bars so i'm not actually holding on this will be when they've had a few goes of it and they're a bit comfortable and then we can start riding again i've still got my hand on the spine to make them comfortable so away we go and then when once they get up to a bit of speed i'm not really holding on anymore and then as we come to a stop i can get a hold of the spine again and keep supporting the penny farthing and then they can climb down and it's basically giving them that little taste of what it's actually right to ride a penny farthing. And there you go, that's it. That is the safe way that we know to show someone how to get on and off a penny farthing and give them that first little taste of riding a penny farthing. And then from there you can progress slowly and then can get on themselves and use the, the traditional penny farthing method would be scooting along behind once they've got that knowledge. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Um, as always, it changes every time I ask you. Is it like, share, whatever, that thing on YouTube. Give us a like, hit the subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. And other than that, thank you very much, guys.